morning guys it's another hot sticky summer day on the planet that would be friday july 22nd 2022 and i need to get ready to head off to the grassroots music festival and enjoy listening to some music with my friends on a summer evening but before i do guys i don't know i've been uh tossing this rat around uh, all night uh, since, since I received this email. We're going to call this uh, fellow, I don't know, we'll call him Billy Bob, imagine that. So I got this email and I know some other people in the Doomosphere have also received this email from this fellow. This man is a, a, a you know, normally if I receive this email from anybody in the Doomosphere, I would assume what they were doing is sharing just an example of, of how completely fucked we are. That anybody, almost even on an ironic level, would, would come up with a line of unadulterated horseshit, I mean, so fucking deep that a, a goddamn, uh, fuck, a goddamn ditch digger could not get to the bottom of the bullshit. I, I, I'm talking a level of unadulterated right-wing uh, conspiratard, just, just, just crap. Uh, just the ramblings of a paranoid lunatic uh, fr from some fucking, I mean, serious, clueless fucking moron. Uh, I I'm talking way beyond Alex Jones, David Icke, I, I, I mean, good Lord, I forget Fox News and Donald Trump. I, I'm talking about uh, uh, the, 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 this unfathomable uh, depth of unadulterated horseshit uh, coalesced in, 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 into, into one link. If, if, you know, normally receiving this, I would just automatically assume, uh, a, a, a particularly a someone I consider a very close friend who I know is. Uh, intelligent, articulate, educated, uh, is, is not a clueless moron, whatever, that they would be sending it to me as a sick, twisted laugh, which is what it would be, and I would just toss it off, but I honestly don't know if this fellow who sent this to me, and he's listening to this rant, I honestly don't know, brother. If, if you sent this to me and other folks down here in the in, in the Doomosphere, I, because you believe one fucking iota of the single biggest load of unadulterated horseshit, uh, I have encountered. Uh, possibly in my entire life. And this comes off of some, good God, from some dude calling him the second smartest guy in the world. The second smartest guy in the world. I'm assuming by that that he means Alex Jones is the smartest guy in the world. Uh, all I can figure, well, is Alex Jones or Donald Trump uh, is the smartest guy in the world. But uh, so this guy is humble enough to uh, to uh, call himself the second smartest guy in the world. And his latest essay is titled PSYOP Climate Change, The Absurd CO2 Scam. It starts out, the current atmospheric CO2 level is around 420 parts per million, which is critically too low 
we actually need more CO2, not less. And then I'm just going to skip ahead to the to the end of his post. This is in bold face. So just, just so you understand that there are actually people out there on the planet. Now, I maybe the second smartest guy in the world is just a fantastic satirist, okay? Maybe he's one of the great ironic satirists ever. Because, you know, I'm often complaining that my satire doesn't, uh, doesn't play well uh, on social media. I'm trying to give a credit to the guy who wrote this fucking bullshit. Uh, the credit that that he's uh, being ironic and satirical, and I'm really trying to convince myself that this uh, intelligent, uh, educated, uh, aware friend of mine who sent me this sent it to me because he knew I would appreciate the irony and satire in it. We can only hope. Quote from the second smartest guy in the world. And then we will, as Alex Jones, the smartest guy in the world, would say, we will come back and break it down. But first, I'm just going to read it out. The green energy scam is a program to impoverish the planet and accelerate depopulation Verse via hyperinflation, poverty, supply chain shortages, and famine. It is really that simple and in plain sight. Climate change is a psychological indoctrination program whereby humans grow to despise themselves as the main cause of planetary destruction, considering the human race a scourge upon the world. This is a critical early phase of death cult normalization that allows for ritualistic suicide behavior in, say, the uptake of slow-kill bioweapon injections, otherwise known as the you-know-what vaccine. PSYOP-19, which I think they're talking about the corona panic vaccination, I think, I don't even know. PSYOP-19, uh, now the corona panic, that, that is a PSYOP, but anyway, uh, uh, PSYOP-19 flows perfectly into PSYOP climate change for numerous reasons, as will the upcoming limited nuclear strikes in PSYOP World War III, which in turn will be justified. Yes, the nuclear strikes will be justified for ever more urgent climate change policies. <sighs> Good God, guys. Uh, I, I, I mean, where, uh, uh, again, if, if this, if I had just found this on my own, or whatever, or if I was just sitting around with someone with a fucking brain, all right, and we had stumbled across this, it would have it would have been worth about 30 seconds of derisive, you know, deserved derisive laughter, uh, throwing the author of this and any clueless fucking moron believing one word of this unadulterated horseshit, uh, you, you know, down the toilet and, and moving on with our lives. But uh, the fact that I don't know. If uh, someone who I know has been down in the Dumasphere for years uh, believes one, I mean, this is where we really are fucked. If, if, if there is one 
person with a brain believing one word of the single biggest dump of bullshit that I might have ever read in, uh, what was that, two paragraphs. Uh, anyway, let's do a little, uh, a little correction, a little bit of rewrite here. Okay. The green energy scam which anybody with a brain understands the green energy revolution is a scam. Okay. Uh, anybody, anybody who would deny that the green energy scam is not a scam it is every bit as much of a clueless fucking moron as any clueless fucking moron believing one word of this sentence beyond the word scam. So the green energy scam is a scam. The green energy scam is a program to enrich the planet eaters to enrich the already rich planet eaters by tweaking the system and jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. It is designed to make people such as and including Elon Musk leading the pack. Uh, Elon Musk, even richer, it is a scam to make Bill Gates richer. It is a scam to make Al Gore richer. It is a scam uh, to make, uh, good God, how many other people richer. It is, it, it is a scam to make, uh, you know, anybody on the fossil fuel side of the scam richer if they move over. It is a scam to convince uh, any clueless fucking moron who is not looking to get rich off of this scam to, to believe for one second that the, the transition from fossil fuel energy over to green energy is going to save this planet on any level whatsoever. Okay, uh, that, it is really that simple and in plain sight. Okay, what is climate change? Uh, okay, how am I going to reword this sentence? Climate change is one tiny little a tiny little subset of ecological collapse due to overshoot. Climate change is one symptom of ecological overshoot destroying the planet. Okay. Climate change is one tiny part of ecological overshoot destroying the planet whereby any human with a brain who studies the situation for more than 10 minutes will consider the human race to be a scourge upon the world. Okay? It really is that simple and in plain sight. It is one tiny symptom of the unfolding ecological collapse because of the 8 billion plus viruses, cancer cells, whatever you want to call us, destroying this planet and it will lead to depop. I mean, we are going to drive ourselves into collective suicide, all right, uh, because of this. 
and with no help on any level from climate change, if climate change did not exist, it would make zero difference. Okay? There are plenty of ways for the scourge, the, uh, the cancer of humanity to destroy themselves, drive themselves to extinction, and drive the ecological collapse of a planet that have nothing whatsoever on any level to do with climate change. Okay, and I love this one uh, about this is a critical early phase of death cult normalization that allows for ritualistic suicide behavior. The early phase of death cult normalization. There you go. Yes, we are in the early phase. When did we enter uh, death, the death cult, uh, which is another way of saying the Anthropocene. Uh, we are definitely deep into the death cult. Uh, there, there is no question that uh, we were in the early phases of the death cult 250,000 years ago, I guess when we invented fire, when we invented spears, maybe. When we invented spears and fire, those were the early phases of the death cult. And then, of course, the Industrial Revolu Revolution and the invention of fossil fuels. Uh, the, these were all uh, as the death cult known as humanity uh, got deeper and deeper the latest phase of the death cult the latest phase of the death cult is the green energy scam it, it is a perfect example of the death cult entering its latest and perhaps final phase okay the death cult uh, every single one of us is a member of the death cult. It is called original sin. It is called being born a human on the planet. From the moment we come into this world, we are become members of a death cult. Okay? Every single time you turn on a light in your house, you are doing your part as a member of the death cult. Every time you get in your gas-sucking car, you turn the key. You are a good standing member of the, the death cult committing a ritualistic collective suicidal behavior. Every time you get into your electric vehicle and you turn that key, you are contributing to the death cult that has ruled this planet for somewhere between the last 250 to 250,000 years. Okay? Fossil fueled car, electric car, every time you get in that car and you turn that key, you are participating in the death cult. Every time you build a tiny house, you are participating in the death cult of a planet. Okay? The early phases of the death cult. Uh, the, the, the death cult uh, is the very people leading the death cult are the uh, people uh, who the second smartest guy on the planet uh, offers up as his heroes. And then since the camera has not turned off, uh, might as well go to the 
the second part of this where an article titled Wrong Again, 50 Years of Failed Ecopocalyptic Predictions by this fellow whose name you might recognize, Myron Ebel. I have heard of Myron before, and so I click on uh, Myron Ebel's uh, bio, and I find something, uh, a, a, I don't know why I should be surprised. Uh, it's from the Competitive Enterprise Institute, uh, where Myron Bell is the director of the Competitive Enterprise Institute's Center for Energy and Environment. And, uh, of course, what he is, is he's an economist. But um, he is, Myron Ebel is director of the Competitive Enterprise Institute Center for Energy and Environment, which is one of the most effective advocates for free market environmentalism. Uh, anyway, so what I thought I was going to have to do is, is look for people uh, trash talking Myron Ebel, but, but what the competitive, these guys are so proud of being planet eaters <coughs> that they actually are bragging about this. And maybe they should brag a little bit about uh, this first one. Bill McKibben, the founder of the Global Warming Alarmist Group, 350.org, wrote, quote, Myron Ebel of the Conservative Competitive Enterprise Institute, the man who led the drive to pull America out of the Paris Climate Accords, said the other day that the Green New Deal was a back to the Dark Ages manifesto. And uh, that's language worth thinking about, coming from perhaps the right's most influential spokesman on climate change. And, uh, uh, of course, I don't put Bill McKibben quite in the level of Myron Ebel, uh, but I think that's a good description. I mean, it, Myron includes it right here on his bio. Uh, I would agree with this, that Myron Ebel is perhaps the right, meaning the, you know, the Trump tard crew, the Donald Trump, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, what, what's that clueless bitch from Alaska whose name I can never remember, uh, did I say Donald Trump already, the Alex Jones crowd, uh, yes. Uh, My, Myron Ebel is perhaps the right's most influential spokesman on climate change. So th this is why Alex Jones will be uh, quoting Myron Ebel. Uh, Axios said CEI, you know, the, the uh, CEI, the competitive... Enterprise Institute, Axio said CEI was, quote, the energy that enabled the issue to stay high profile in the White House for months. Uh, CNN credited Mr. Ebell with having, quote, as much influence shaping Trump's decision, meaning uh, particularly about the Paris Climate Agreement, pulling out of that, which is the, the, you know, the one thing that Trump ever did that I 100% that I uh, support. Of course, he did it for all the wrong reasons. But, but Ebel, I mean, the, the Paris Climate Agreement is just one. What they're saying here is uh, shaping Trump's uh, anti-environmental policy as any single individual and, quote, might have helped change the political and environmental direction of the U.S. 
okay. Mr. Ebell led the Trump Presidential Transitions Action Team for the environmental, oh, that's it, for the EPA. Uh, that's where I have heard of him. Uh, his involvement, you, you know, in the, in the Trump White House led to public protest and marches in several cities in America and Europe. And one of countless uh, letters from environmental groups, Sierra Club President Michael Bruhn wrote that quote, Myron Ebell is one of the single greatest threats our planet has ever faced. Uh, he's certainly right up and you understand that as much as anybody, Myron Ebell was the shadow, uh, the shadow government behind Donald Trump's anti-environment policies. My guess is that Myron Ebell probably is good friends with uh, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. Among many recognitions, uh, Greenpeace featured Mr. Ebell and three of his CEI colleagues in their Field Guide to Climate Criminals. As a result of a BBC radio interview, seven members of the British House of Commons from all three major parties introduced a motion to censor Mr. Ebell, Ebell, quote, in the strongest possible terms. Ebell concentrated on federal lands and property rights issues, meaning, uh, you know, he's part of what I call the Clive Bundy gang. If you're familiar with Clive and Ammon Bundy, uh, you know, trying to uh, strip protections off of uh, our public lands to give them to cattle ranchers and oil drillers and frackers and loggers. So most of his career was uh, built trying to, uh, you know, take public lands uh, out of public, uh, out of public hands and give them away to, you know, these giant uh, planet-eating corporations. Talk about it. If there is a poster child for the death cult, it is Myron Ebell. Okay. Uh, I, I would certainly put Myron Ebell as one of the architects of the death cult in this country and on this planet. Uh, gee, Mr. Ebell grew up on a cattle ranch in Baker County in Eastern Oregon. Yes, he earned degrees at Colorado College and the London School of Economics. Do you think so? Good for you. And this is the uh, author of uh, these links that the second smartest guy in the world is offering up to any clueless fucking moron who uh, wants to understand, I guess, the death cult. So, uh, anyway, I just had to get that off my chest, but as I told my buddy, uh, you know, I love you, brother, it's, uh, but guys, I mean, all kidding aside, if, if you, when you, when you find intelligent, articulate, articulate, college-educated, uh, you know, clearly intelligent, well-read people, uh, e e e you know, even considering this unadulterated horseshit 
for one millisecond you understand sorry we're, we're, we're fucked uh, but anyway it is what it is and what it is now is clouding up and I would love to think it's getting ready to rain and cool off so uh, get out there and enjoy being a scourge upon the planet and do your part for the death cult which is exactly what I'm getting ready to do when I get up out of this chair is uh, get in my gas sucking truck turn the key and go figure out how to kill some more hemlock trees for my new tiny house my guys 